Everyone's been asking me, where's your house, where's your house, where's your house, and did you get a house? Life has been a whirlwind of just question marks and question marks and more question marks. Hello, vlog fam. Long time no see. Happy 2021, you guys. Well, as happy as it can be, right? Um, hi, welcome back to my vlog channel. I know it's been a minute, um, and I'm obviously in California, and life has been a whirlwind of just question marks and question marks and more question marks. Um, so I definitely will do a full update. I have an update on my whole living situation coming on my main channel. Of course, I'll do more life updates here. Um, I am about to work out though. I have a full day of meetings and everything of that sort, but I'm sorry I've been away and I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. So it's so good to see you guys again and let's work out. Oh my gosh, okay, I just finished my workout. I have a meeting in literally 10 minutes. I need to jump in the shower, get ready. Today I did the Whitney Simmons app, a live 2.0 app so I did that so good alrighty so it is now um, almost 12 o'clock I just finished up my first meeting for something really really exciting ah! definitely more in the near future but I just had a preliminary meeting for something that I've been wanting to do for forever so I'm really excited about it now I have another meeting with my team over zoom meetings on meetings on meetings today and it's just been a lot of like busy busy stuff but I'm just chilling right now in this comfy comfy outfit this sweater is from this company called Jesus loves you co one of my friends actually owns it and then I'm wearing my white fox boutique shorts and my Uggs, and I'm bumming it today. Like, my hair is pretty disgusting. Um, but I made banana pancakes. Actually, I made banana waffles earlier. That was delicious. Um, and so I'm gonna be later meeting up with my Bible study leader. We're gonna go get coffee somewhere. So you can't really, like, go inside anywhere in California. It's really, really sad. So we'll probably just get grab a coffee to go and go sit on the beach somewhere. But my Bible study leader is someone that has literally changed my life. Like I would love for y'all to meet her or something of that sort. And if you're part of my bi tribe, you know who she is. She's a counselor. She works with a lot of girls over Zoom. So if you guys are looking for a counselor, I can leave her contact down below because she's changed my life. Like I don't know who I'd be without this woman. She's like my mother out here. Um, so I'm gonna meet with her later. And then I reserved tonight for myself I need to just edit I have a lot of editing to do a lot of work a lot of cleaning like my place you guys since I'm like in this process of like trying to figure out where I'm gonna live and moving and all the stuff it's my place is in shambles it needs major help so first I'm gonna have my meeting and then I will chat with you guys later okay meeting two is done for more exciting things you guys stay tuned so many more awesome exciting things coming but today's outfit are these jeans I got these from Paige I have not worn like not non skinny jeans I don't know in how long like literally I cannot tell you and then this is one of my abide pieces as you guys know I released merch this was actually a sample it still has John 15 on the sleeve but I just cut it to make it a crop top and so I'm wearing one of my merch pieces and I'm gonna go now get some coffee with my Bible study leader so see you guys there let's go hello I have not done a driving vlog clip in like literally a very long time welcome back to my car welcome back to austin hello carpool karaoke chat sesh so um i've obviously taken a break i went back to dallas for three weeks and i the whole time i was there was dealing with the housing stuff obviously i was there for the holidays i spent time with my family and christmas and all that stuff and we had a new niece born and a new nephew is gonna be born very very soon so lots of family stuff is going on which is obviously a big factor sorry this is like clicking and it's really making me annoyed but it's a big factor of like why I'm wanting to move home is I really want to be near my family now I'm gonna be doing like this full-on video explaining my whole process but overall you guys like no one talks about how hard it is to find the right house how competitive it is how Dang, that tire got blown. Jeez, that was even a police officer. Anyway, um, like I've never really seen YouTubers talk about how they buy their house and the process. Like literally, would y'all see 
is you see these YouTubers and they have these massive freaking beautiful mansions in the hills of California and they're like, welcome to my home. And it's like this $3.5 million home. And you're like, wow, I can't afford that. Probably never will be able to. Yeah, like I can't afford that either. I feel like there's just like this pressure of like when I'm buying this house, like I want it to be the right house. I want it to fit for all my needs, for roommates, for my family, for all the things I want to do work-wise. I want an office. I want a podcast room. I want like, I want it to be bright and white and just a beautiful, cozy, homey home where I can host and have Bible studies. But the market is just so competitive in Dallas right now that like the one house that I wanted and I put an offer on I didn't get it because the other person was forking up like another $15,000 and I was like I don't want to do that and so I feel like you guys just see this whole process of you know a youtuber shows their house but they don't show you the struggle and how it's hard and especially when you're transitioning back from you know California to their home state that's really hard because I'm having to jump back and forth to figure out, you know, what, where's my home gonna be? What is it gonna look like? Because you can't just find a home, a home based off Zillow or Trulia. Like, based upon the photos, you can't decide whether you're gonna purchase it or not. And so, it's been hard being back here because I'm like, okay, I can't look at houses. But I was assuming by the last three weeks of me being in Dallas that I would for sure know where I was living. And I thought I was going to, didn't happen. Um, so, I basically have two weeks left of my lease and and I have no idea what I'm doing, if I'm being completely honest. No clue what I'm doing. Like, I might have to stay in Airbnb, I might have to crash with my parents, which is not my favorite thing to do, but definitely an option. Um, might have to get an apartment, might have to get a I don't know, y'all see what I'm saying? It's a very complicated situation, so everyone's been asking me, where's your house, where's your house, where's your house, and did you get a house? But even if I wanted this beautiful move-in gorgeous house, they are going like that. Like, they're going like hotcakes, like there was, a couple houses I had asked my realtor about and she was like, those houses already have eight eight offers on it. And I'm like, awesome. So it's just so competitive and it's hard being in California. Why did the lighting get weird? What happened? Hello, lighting? But basically, yeah, like it's hard when I'm living here because I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm supposed to be out of my apartment January 31st. My landlord is awesome and like, she's letting me stay longer. But then I'm also like, well, why would I keep staying longer? Because then I can't find the house that I want. And it's like, I almost need to be there to know. So you see my predicament here. My I'm in a little bit of a pickle, but of course I'm so excited to move home still. Excited to share with you guys the journey and the process of moving and renovating or decorating or styling or whatever that looks like. I don't know, but either way, I wanna keep sharing that with you guys. But that's kind of my update on everything. But the lighting blows now, so I will see you guys when I get there. All right, I put my gold hoops on, mask on, and I'm at this coffee shop called Playa Provisions, and there Casey is, yay. Okay, bye. Here's the little coffee shop. I'm gonna film, is that okay? Okay guys, Casey and I, here's Casey. <laughs> she is the woman that changed my life out here. She's like my mom. <laughs> She's the best, we just sat and- We're smiling. We are, yeah, we are smiling underneath these masks. Um, but yeah, it was really good. Um, we are just brainstorming some things for the future for the Abide Tribe, so stay tuned. All right guys, so I have changed. I am back home. I have been working for the last couple hours. I made a post for the Abide Tribe page and I'm probably about to put a face mask on, take off my makeup, and I need to clean my place. So I'm gonna use tonight to clean, declutter. I'm in like a cleaning mood and then uh, do some editing and stuff. So I'm about to go put a face mask on because my skin, she needs help. I am roughing it. I have pimple cream on and I uh, just took out my retainers, but 
I'm in bed now. I'm about to read. I got this new book called Changes That Heal by Dr. Henry Cloud. Love him as an author. I cleaned up my room a little bit more, just tidied up, put clothes away. Need to put stuff back in storage, but I'm about to go to bed. I have another busy day tomorrow, and hopefully I'll have more life updates soon for you guys. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. If you want to shop my merch, link down below. We'll be restocking the Abide sweaters soon, so stay tuned for that, and peace out, Girl Scout. Bye, guys.